Hello there YouTube. <clears throat> How are you doing? It is approaching the middle of the night, well, early hours of the morning on um, March 31st, 2015. And um, it's very windy. You know what they say, um, You know what they say, it's an ill wind that brings no good, which is sort of a, a disguised blessing. It's got the word ill in it, so you sort of think, mm, ill, ill wind. <laughs> but this is a good wind. This is a good wind. And, um... So yeah, just interesting that, so we've got change, change at least here in England where it's windy, <laughs> and we're in if it's windy, maybe there's change afoot, maybe it's just windy, but that's not what this video is about. Now as it may say in the title, n not for newbies, I think that's how you spell newbies, looks more like newbies. <laughs> Newbies. Then, um, what was I saying? Newbies? Yeah, not for newbies. <coughs> if you're a newbie, <laughs> go back and watch some older videos. I recommend. And it's also the title probably sounds very cocky. Treasure. Treasure Island. But, um, <coughs> I am so confident in uh, in this thing here it's like a treasure map in a way that I'm so confident that um, it was inspired by God or uncovered mostly by God that um, I'm very confident of that. No ego attached. Straight from the heart. And yeah. So okay. Now I'm going to redact some things, just a few little things, because. It's just personal, and um, that's all we need to say about that. <clears throat> right, so I was doing some uh, meditating um, whilst high, and um, <clears throat> got, you know, feeling God, and um, they would, he, she were giving me some insights into things. It's like a Rubik's Cube, I can't find the start. Okay, so some of this is going to be very um, much information in just a few words, and some of it's going to be a little bit wordy. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. You get a feeling. It's the feeling which eludes what it's about. And then you kind of grasp some words and make sense of it. <clears throat> so, can't feel full force of God's love whilst using the cannabis. Is that the start? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Why? Otherwise cannabis would be always necessary. Right. So Basically, um, <clears throat> a 
I think it's true that cannabis has um, an effect on the soul. And it's like God's gift to sort of counterbalance the um, shit we're forced to put up with. Um, before I managed to get some and get high today, it had been a week, <coughs> not very long, but I was getting knocked about things like... Um, the fact that I can't go and swim in a natural lake or river which is got, you know, proper clean water. And the thing is, I have experienced this in life. When I was very young, my uncle, I was four, I couldn't really swim, but he chucked me into this lake. We were going to this little island. It was just a, a metre and a half or something. I had to swim, not far. And I managed that. And I got lots of water in my mouth. But it was so pure and fresh. And I always tried to find that lake again. And I never did. Never have. But a lot of the lakes in Norway, they, they're they now dammed. And what happens when they're dammed is all the silt builds up on the floor. So, you know, I have experienced it. And... I really miss it and it pees me off so things like that you know we've, we've been born into this earth on the in the time of where we are now and it's a polluted earth and so and cannabis seems to be becoming more and more available um, legalized in states in America for um, not just medicinal use in some places but in some places like the latest Washington DC for recreational use and it's a clear sign isn't it it's a clear signal in Europe we've got Portugal and Holland um, other places I mean in England it's not been legalized but it does seem to be very widely available. Um, I mean, in the years when I grew up, it didn't seem to be so available. But, well, anyway, it seems like it's going one way, legalised. So more and more people are using it. So I think it's, you know, there is one thing, that sort of gift. But um, if people knew the true use of it, then wow, it becomes it becomes the thing of the profits. I'm kind of almost getting that assumption that when um, prophets would go to speak to God, in a sense, they would almost know about this plant I don't, and and use it to speak to God. I don't know. I don't know about that. But anyway, I don't go too much on about that. But so, but. You, can't feel the full force of God's love while using the cannabis. So, what I've been able to do using the cannabis um, is, so I've written here, it will, so by the way, what what I've written down here, I haven't he heard these words, right? Let me just make that very clear. I haven't, like, heard someone speaking to me. Because God is an all-feeling soul. So he's just the soul part. The reason we have these physical bodies and spiritual bodies is to be able to experience stuff so that our soul can start to learn and understand how the soul works and the soul is emotions. And it's like A.J. Miller says, the first thing to do is to, I'm not sure if he says this, but to feel every single emotion um, so that your soul knows what it is. But if you suppress an emotion, if you deny it, if you push it away and don't allow it, then you're not feeling your soul, you're resisting what God wants you to do. God, as our parent of our soul, wants us to grow in our soul. And the first thing we have to do is know what it is. In other words, feel every sense of it. 
experience all parts of the soul. And this is what we pushed away when we were about, you know, two years of age. To go through those terrible twos. That is, we've, we've degraded ourselves to such a level that we can't remain on that level of love. It's too painful. And then we cry. And it's almost, I kind of, when I went back to it myself and I experienced, in a sense, what was driving a lot of that crying um, and tantrum, you know, was in a sense my father telling me off and in a sense I was aware that God was sort of warning me, my law of attraction. And um, and I've experienced some of that pain of leaving God, in a sense, every time I come down off the cannabis. So that's quite interesting. So either at one point I just won't come down. The cannabis will have worn off and I'll still be on level 7. <laughs> but no, I don't think it'll be that way. The cannabis needs to wear off. Get your dreams back, and um, and that's that's what you know helps me is thinking. Yeah, I remember my dreams tonight. My dreams will be more vivid. Anyway, so what I am able to do on the cannabis, although I'm not able to feel the full force of God's love, um, I it will though allow you to essentially be with God, and thus receive the wisdom, truth and creativity. Maintenance we always get regardless. <clears throat> so, and um, so this is what I feel like um, when, when I'm feeling God. And I know when it's God. It's, it's different. I'm starting to be more sensitive to what my soul feels. So, to, in order to do this, the first thing I need to do is feel my soul. Which is like what I've gradually been getting over the years. And the first time someone put their hand on my head, I, that's the kind of level of feeling it's been. I can feel it now, and today there was a, a new thing which I write about in a minute. <coughs> so, feel your soul from within, bubbles up. So that was the new sensation that I'd had today. That was that was new. It was like a, I don't know. Yeah, I could sort of feel almost like the full length of my soul which I think up to now I haven't been able to do. There was like blocks at the bottom. I just thought of that. Um, necessary to be conscious of your soulmate, to feel another soul fully, especially God. Well that that probably depends if that other soul is a soul in soul union. So God is a soul in soul union. And in a sense then, so I think it's probably only God. I think other souls that are not in soul union, um, you would perhaps... If they were together with their soulmate at the time, I don't know. Sorry, probably some incremental level with God being absolute. All soul is absolute. You need to be with your soulmate, maybe in order to fully feel God. And maybe that's what was partly new today. And I was aware of a feeling that often comes, and then suddenly I was able to say, think, maybe that's what my soulmate's feeling. 
maybe there's some you know that's something she's going through at the moment and then it twigged ah da 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 da, -da. <laughs> i'm um leaving some particulars out only for personal reasons um just there's nothing that's going to affect what i'm saying but it's just something that involves someone else so i'm just going to and that is the identity of my soulmate. For the moment, oh, come out soon, so don't worry. People who know me will probably know. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, and I was conscious of my soulmate huddled up beside me. I feel, I feel, feel, I feel, I feel her. So, yeah. Probably a soulmate, you know, you could see, feel, hear, anywhere really. Maybe sometimes in front of you, sometimes by the side of you. It is the second most important thing. It is no small deal. And, you know, taking this into consideration, what I've written here and what, what I felt at the time and then as I was there with my soulmate directing my attention towards God, it did feel more fuller and bigger. Now... I say here, if I, the thing, for, because of using the cannabis, it's a temporary thing. So, if I wasn't using the cannabis, and I was able to do this, that would basically be being at one with God. So, I am experiencing being one with God, but in a sort of a, you know, slightly through a veil maybe if that's it's but I I will and may, I don't know how long it will take but I will be able to achieve it when I have done you know have let the cannabis go out of my system anyway so, it is, you know, this is the real deal, baby. Right, soulmate is, da -da -da -da, I'm not going to tell you. Important to remember first instincts. Yes. Uh, are key to knowing truth. Right, so, and I've remembered this before, back when I was like 19 and stuff, that, um, you know, the truth came, ew. Or from God, it was like, bam! And the only truth is God's truth, the fact. The fact of what is, is God's truth. Right? The Creator. Right? Not getting biblical, we're just talking the Creator of the universe, you are standing on planet Earth, swiddling around the sun, which is swiddling around a Milky Way galaxy. 100 million stars, 100 billion million galaxies, I don't know. Right? This universe, and God is bigger than the universe. God is outside of the universe. This universe is, this physical universe is just one plane. It's this first teeny little bit. We are babies. Remember that. Right. First instincts. So, so I was sitting down to meditate and I heard a voice say a name. And the name was clear. And my first instinct was it's that one. <laughs> But then a sort of a nagging thought sort of 
crept in, you know, but yeah, but does that make sense, you know, it could be that one, it's probably the other one, that, you know, and, and even sometimes my recollection of, um, of, um, some of the first instincts, sometimes kind of gets clouded, but you have clarity in the end, especially if you don't leave it too long, you know, if it's especially if it's just a real quick and I'm talking about not major things now but sometimes subtle things um, don't leave it too long to make a a note of that instantaneous and it's it's not a voice it's it's a it's it's like a you know a, it's a picture it's like a memory in a sense that it's got it's got information Picture, there's a picture, there's a, there's a identity, there's a feeling, a feeling even, which is why we quite often <coughs> discard it so straight away because it's like, <gasps> and it's like, oh no, because sometimes that feeling can can be scary or sad. Or so fucking awesome you can't even hardly let yourself believe it. Which is why a lot of people, you know, I think they're scared to <clears throat> admit there might be a god, and because then, oh, what are the repercussions? And it just needs thinking through. You see, there's a lot of falsehoods out there. That's why that could be scary. Gotta get your truths. Right, so... I'll key to knowing truth. And it is often a split second. Spirits. Right, no spirits. Every human that's ever lived on this planet is still existing as a spirit. Either remaining on the earth because they didn't want to pass into the spirit world because they got some shit to deal with and um, I think some of them have been here for quite a while right and they, you know, they're pretty clever spirits are keen to dissuade us yeah you see many against soul union So I hear. <laughs> I'm gonna go and support my um, soulmate for something. Purpose for me. Oh, yeah, I wasn't gonna say this out loud. The videos I got that. The philosophy, the way to God. Do and share. So, hence the videos. Chicken battery. <laughs> uh, right, I think now. Yeah. Right. I know my soulmate is. <coughs> She has always loved me, and I her. There are some things to feel about that, now receiving this truth. There are some things to feel about that. I don't know why I added the other bit. So, even if in the past, even if she's been mean to me or did something nasty unloving um, it's like sort of me not noticing that 
She has always loved me, oh no, even at that time, on a soul level. And that love felt on a soul level. I know now. I know. I know. <laughs> when the effects of the cannabis wear off, feeling God's love seems more possible. Mount felt depends on the aperture of the heart based on the soul's level of love. So, when I've sort of come off the cannabis, I've been feeling, you know, down, coming down, but I get God's, by, by going without, even for a day, I get sort of God's, bit of God's love for going without, and come, even though I'm coming down in levels. I, I'm getting some of God's love. And they, you know, if you think of... It's what it feels like. It feels like as I come down in levels. The potentiality of that aperture comes down. I mean, I definitely have been receiving some of God's love while high. But I I could see how it was done so that I could experience and feel it. And then, sort of, once I realised that, you know, in order to feel it fully, in order to be there fully, I need to to be off the cannabis for the cannabis because that's my true level that's my true soul level so yeah see, sort of, see what's happening when I'm writing here is I'm sort of <clears throat> my levels have sort of come up and down you know sort of it's it's been like that um, So this might be some of the wordy bits. No, I don't know. They're probably coming in a minute. <clears throat> I like that the aperture. So yeah, when I'm when I'm off the cannabis and straight, it's like oh, you know harder to <laughs> think loving thoughts about everyone. It is right now. You know, I love everyone. Which is that I know is the right thing to do, and it's so easy to do when you're on this level. But um, no, I, I manage, generally. But, you know, it's... It's sort of... have to be more conscious of it, it's not so automatic. Interesting. Uh, coming down a level can occur when you suddenly disagree with something just realised disagreeing with God you know this especially like with this thing about me not being able to feel God's love fully on cannabis you know suddenly I've been thinking oh my god what have I been doing then you know and it's sort of hard to explain but I start sort of picking at the theory and then I go no nah, and I can feel myself drop. I can the feeling. It's like being in truth is. You have to be in truth to be able to be with God. And um, you know, and if you personally watching this video want to want to do it, you know, look back at some of my other videos and and um, definitely go to divine truth and hear it hear what this guy AJ Miller has to say uh, who was Jesus in the first life and 
in his first life and he's reincarnated um, he's like basically the first person to reincarnate on earth you don't have to believe me but it's made you know I've been following a truth for my life and, and I have gradually been making progress but I do believe when I started to believe that all our souls together were God that was you know that was wandering off thinking that God is our parent and we are like all the little babies like God all feeling souls given these bodies to experience you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. And the, and that 99.99%, this is our first time. But only a few have reincarnated. And that was first was in 1952 or 1962, one of them. 1952. Um, blah, 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 blah. Right, oh, hang on. Yeah, that disagreeing with God. Feeling that change should make you realise the error you made and you can change your mind back. It will feel good and you'll know you're in truth again. So that was just what I was saying basically, a bit wordy. Remember the instant. It's usually always an instant. Truth from God. YouTube. Oh yeah, so this one I'm just writing. I'm gonna call it Treasure Island. Da -da -da. Not for newbies. So you know, probably was a bit cocky at this stage. Just thinking, but no, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, you need to watch. You need to have seen some of my videos to to be able to get what I'm saying. I I'm sorry, I'm going on. Ask people to. Oh yeah, ask people to state in a comment at what time they stopped watching the video. I think that would be interesting. And if you do actually watch all of it, and a couple of you do, um, I think, you know, just comment. Make a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm you know, don't worry. Uh, smoking fags is more desirable when stoned because God's love doesn't come full force. Yeah. And maybe not just smoking fags, maybe just eating sugar you know crap and stuff although the sugar maybe sometimes because your mind's been I don't know no bollocks <laughs> blah 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 that's just uh, something I've got to be feeling God's soul so in a sense what I'm doing here is I'm rewording some of the things I've already said but feeling God's soul comes in from the top of the head it's sort of yeah I mean I'm not sure if it's right top of the head always necessarily. It's sort of what it seems to do is come down and then through the center of the throat and then into the into the heart and 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 in the belly and filling filling that area through the throat and into the belly. Feeling Jesus and Mary's soul, our brother and sister, is on the two temples. Very loving resemblance to Batman hat, double sword of light and love. Now, this isn't this is um, an I a new one, a new sort of concept of feeling different people, and I've. I've had experience now for the last several months of noticing how different people feel and I'm becoming more and more sensitive and like when you feel it and you're more sensitive to it you sort of more then you sort of think back oh gosh yeah I've had a few of these and so 
the first time I sort of had any sort of concept of the Jesus soul. Well, I think I have in my life before I was a young child and periods in my life that was sort of associated with that the blue of the very early morning and it was sort of you know I would feel it was a bit something about the, the Christmas and maybe that's because I associated something about that and that was from a very young child you know something some sort of feeling and but no, it was more recently when I can't remember now the first time. See, something's clouding me. I'm sure there was a couple of. I'm sure there was an occasion before it came into a dream. Yeah, because I'm sure I already was aware of that in the dream. Anyway, I'm not sure if at that point I forgot the feeling of the two temp on the two temples, but. In the dream there was this, and it did seem a bit like top of Batman's hat. It sort of had that, right? So there was that about it. Maybe it's because they're in soul union. Maybe other souls have that sort of thing too. Who are, who are in soul union? Because I have noticed different. Anyway, so um, yeah, like this is new. This is too new to be um, giving you any conclusions on. Um, but then I did also think about the double sword. Was it a double sword or double-edged sword in the Bible about when Jesus is coming back? So yeah. So even though A. J. Miller. He's claiming to be reincarnated um, Jesus, you know. His full soul is too big. He's got up to, you know, the umpteenth level in the spirit world to a point that no one else had before. And he, in a sense, creating these levels to get closer to God, basically, and got into a soul union state and then was able to reincarnate. And that's why no one has before. They haven't been able to. You know, and they've tried. People have, in the spirit world, after they've passed, have followed um, a path of natural love, just being loving but without concept of God. And they can only get so high and they hit ceiling. And that's the top of the sixth fear. Sixth. Sphere. <laughs> Sixth sphere. Um, <laughs> and um, mm, and if there are spirits who come when I'm making videos and try and trip me up. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Especially when I'm high because, you know, sometimes I'm very flowy. <laughs> And like, um, anyway, so, and a lot of people have followed that sort of path, um, and, you know, they obviously hit the ceiling too, so as more and more people are moving over to God's path and ascending past the sixth sphere into the seventh <laughs> sphere, where he's sort of on level with God and then further and further and further, and, um, you know, the ones sort of who are, in a sense, proclaiming the way, say Buddha for example, and a lot of people pray to Buddhas and have icons of Buddhas and stuff, uh, so that's kind of making Buddha feel nice and warm and loved. Um, he's noticing that's going away and all and look, spirits in the sixth sphere who you know, created their own massive domains. And it's a very, very big sphere. Then, um, you know, they're noticing too, and it's getting smaller. 
I, and I've experienced my nose on that ceiling. I have. I know I have. And it feels horrible. It feels horrible. It's a bit of a spongy, spongy ceiling. <laughs> and um, that's because, you know, I used to smoke cannabis and I used to go up in the levels and that ceiling and then ever since I took on a lot of what AJ Miller is saying as truth and I've felt it and I've been out since then that's what made the difference I was able to get high and I was able to go through that level and I was up for it I was so up for it <laughs> so you know but like I say, you know, while on cannabis, so I've experienced it, I know what's possible. I know, I know. And I will do it. Eventually. And then just this last bit, um, God's pinnacle of creation. Our souls, all unique. Like frog spawn. Frogs usually lay two lots. Well, in my pond they have, anyway, I've got a little pond out the front, and first I noticed two very, <clears throat> the the pad, the pods weren't equal in size, but the size of the each tadpole was equal, laid at the same night, whatever, and then <clears throat> a few days later, another pair arrived, and these were quite a bit smaller. Um, and, and again slightly different size groups like that and, you know sometimes in nature is a reflection of <clears throat> other things so I thought well yeah maybe the Pleiadians maybe God made two sets of souls a finite number in each part, a different part of the universe or galaxy, or whatever, maybe in the same pond, I don't know. And the other is the Pleiadians, and they're probably much like us, living on a planet somewhere in the Pleiades system. That's, and they're, half of them are in the spirit world, I guess, probably in, in the same spirit world, maybe. And, um, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder if we're in the big group or the small group on Earth. I have a feeling we're in the small group. I wonder the, whether Star Wars appeals so much. And I don't think, I'm not imagining them as flying in spaceships around the universe at all. I imagine them as pretty much stuck in their own solar system as we are. Maybe. Maybe. I'd, yeah, I'd say in their own solar system. I imagine. Um, but maybe they're more spiritually advanced than we are. And I've always got feeling, and just then I was feeling, you know, like there is, <laughs> there is another world out there like us, but maybe only two in this universe. Maybe more, I don't know, but, yeah, I can feel that now. And before it didn't, didn't make, I didn't, I wasn't grasping it. Now that I had that sort of thought about the frog spawn, and see, and that's in, that's in a sense what the cannabis does suddenly. You, see, you know, that's why I had to sort of come and write stuff down. And there's probably something I forgot even because you just get these like revelations, revelations, and it's like amazing in a way. It's very, very grateful. For it, for the tool, because then 
then afterwards I'm more in truth. So each time I do this and I come down, I'm sort of I've ma I've managed to take another step. Yeah. And it's here because it's here to to cancel out something crap sort of that hinders us. So that's that, I think. Alright. Ciao.